okay, what are my goals? What do I want to achieve? How am I going to achieve it? Do I have what it takes? This, this is going to be my year. Happy New Year and welcome to the 2021 edition of The Front Row with myself, Romana Mudley. And I'm sure we are all just waiting in anticipation for what is to come of this year. It's the 11th of Jan 2021 and we're just about two weeks into the new year. I'm sure the pressing question with most people, including myself, is what are my 2021 goals? I've been trying to think about this for the longest time. I knew it was coming up. I am someone that likes to set goals, but for some reason, the pandemic, with everything that happened in 2020, I was just not ready to think about what I wanted to do for this year. So after much thought, I pulled myself towards myself and I got it together and now I'm ready to share that with you. 2020 knocked me for a six and it got me thinking how I wanted to tackle 2021. 2020 has humbled me, it's brought me closer to who I am it has forced me to learn things that I didn't necessarily spend time on because I was so busy living in a very fast-paced world. And it really just helped me with my self-care and my self-improvement. And it made me understand what what is the most important thing. And as much as there were so many, so many lessons, there were also some second thought and there was also some sadness to some of the goals that I was unable to achieve in 2020 because the pandemic hit us. But the one thing that I do take away from it is the biggest lesson is adaptability. The ability to adapt and to quickly come up with a solution and a plan and a game-changing plan that is still successful, that is also still in line with what you want to achieve, just makes it seem and feel a little bit better. I always say perfect planning and execution. And there is truth in that. But sometimes if you over plan and you don't leave room for flexibility, then it can be a damper. So we must always try and have an adaptive and a malleable mind. So when we are hit with something that is unexpected, we can quickly pivot and we can quickly come up with a solution that is still somewhat in line with where we need to head long term. Having said that, it is still important for us to focus on our goals and today I'm going to show you what I do to set some goals. The first question you want to ask yourself is why? Why do you want to do the thing that you want to do? So for example, if it was losing weight and that was your goal, why would you want to lose weight? Is it because you want to look aesthetically pleasing? Is it that you want to be fitter? Is it that you have health complications and that you want to be more healthier? Your why has to be fundamentally strong enough to wake you up and make you do the thing that you want to do. So always figure out why you want to do something. And if it's not that necessary, then you probably have a harder chance of achieving it. But if it is something that is a burning desire within you, then somehow your being, whether it is conscious or subconscious, it knows that you have to achieve that goal. What you want to do is you also want to be realistic with the type of goal that you want. I can't say I want to be two meters tall. I'm always going to be 1.63 meters. I'm never going to be two meters tall. The next thing that I found with setting a goal is sometimes I get ahead of myself and I put down a whole bunch of things that I want to achieve. And then I make that my whole yearly plan. And before I know it, I am so overwhelmed and I don't know what the hell happened. That's because I have set too many goals and I don't have enough time to reach them. So what I did to solve that problem is I do a separate list. And what I like to do is I like to write down all the things I love to do or all the things I want to do. And having written that down, 
I then pick the ones that I most want to do right now. And then I break it down even further to be between one and five goals. Why it's necessary to do that? Because that's a realistic kind of goal setting structure. If you have more than five goals or you're going into 10 and 20 goals, it starts becoming very overwhelming and you won't be able to find the time necessary to achieve all those goals. And you will feel too swamped and you'll eventually give up on everything. So the trick is to pick one to five goals and then set a time frame on each of those goals and when you're going to achieve them. The next trick to goal setting is a tracking plan. I have for the longest time never tracked my goals ever. Like I would just say I wanted to do X, Y, and Z, and then I would expect that I would arrive at doing it by like 31st of December before I would write down my New Year's resolution again for, for the next year. So more often than not with that plan or lack of plan, I never really achieved my goals. But when I did it in a proper format where I could track it and control it and adapt and change and improve or take away some things continuously, it helped me to see, to measure it and to really see how, how that goal was performing. Having a vision board is something everyone that is successful talks about and there is truth to it. Last year, I drew a vision board. So I didn't do it the conventional way of putting pictures and having a collage. I literally did my own artwork and I stuck it up in the living room and I looked at it every single day and it reminded me of what I needed to achieve. Granted, there were some things that I did not achieve, but there were some things that I did achieve, and that is a beautiful thing. And I wouldn't have achieved it had I not done a vision board. So when someone says, do a vision board, there is truth in that because if you are constantly reminded and you can see it and it's loud in front of your face, you are not going to forget your dreams. And it helps especially for the days that you are having difficult times when you want to give up. And 90% of the time, you will not feel, more, feel motivated. Like I said, if your goal was to lose weight, every day you're going to wake up and you're not going to want to exercise. When you choose a meal, sometimes more often than not, you'll want to choose a comfort meal. So when you have your vision board in front of you where you can see it, it will help you and it will remind you to stop and make the right decision. The final thing to goal setting is to write things down. What I have found is so true is when you write it down, it sort of marks it permanently in the universe and the universe understands that this is what you want for yourself and this is what you want to be for yourself and the universe makes that happen. If you write it down, it's almost like a ticket to the goal show. When you write it down, you commit it to memory and it's almost like it talks to your unconscious mind to make it come true. Even when you are in a crossroad and you don't know which direction to go, that subconsciousness will kick in and it will help you to make the right decision. And your gut will always know what that decision is and it will always be in accordance to the goal that you set for yourself. Every year should be better than the, your last year. And if it wasn't like that for you, then there must be lessons that you took out of that year. Having goals show that you are driven and that you are ambitious. Achieving your goals shows that you are trustworthy because you can keep the promises that you make to yourself. And if you can keep the promises that you make to yourself, then everyone is going to think that you're a reliable person. So it's a win-win. If you want to know how to set goals that you can achieve, then please do check out my smart goal video that I have done. And if you want to manifest the best life possible, then I've got you covered because I've done a video on how you can manifest 
the best life possible. So that's it from me. Please do comment and let me know what your goal setting situation is or if you are someone that sets goals or if you're thinking about setting goals or if you're confused and you're not too sure, let me know, comment below. And also to help the front row, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get updated when I do post, which is every Monday and every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching the front row with myself, Rowena Mudley, and I wish you all the best in your goal setting for 2021. And I know that you will achieve your goals. Keep it royal. Okay, let's get this started. It's a new studio. Okay, it's not a new studio. It's just a new venue.